The Zoom Monus G200 is a small LED light that can provide up to 300 watts of power. Ciao, my name is Marco, I'm an Italian photographer based in London. Here on my channel I share videos about professional photography and useful tips for your set. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos. Quick unboxing. It comes with a sturdy case that protects everything from bumps. Inside we find the light, the power supply with included controller, the power cable and a parabolic attachment with a Bowman's mount. As mentioned, it has a power of 200 watts, capable of reaching 300 watts in boost mode. I'm not a fan of continuous lights for photography, but these power levels, it makes sense, especially for stop motion or continuous burst photography. Color temperature is adjustable for 2700 Kelvin to 6500 Kelvin, reaching the peak brightness at 5600 Kelvin. It can produce 50,000 lux at 1 meter distance and up to 67,000 lux at 100% max mode. What I particularly like about this light is its attractive and compact design. Both the power supply and the LEDs itself are palm-sized, making it very compact, even for using small spaces with low ceilings. Both the controller and the light are made entirely of aluminium to dissipate the heat generated, which is considerable. They both have a fan that remains off until 30% power, then starts automatically to dissipate it. We can easily attach the controller to our stands using the rubber strap on the back. However, there's no V-mount for batteries. So it's clear that this light only works on AC power, unless you use a power station. Now, let's see what the controller offers. At the top, we find the power button, and then there's two dials to adjust all the function of this light. Simple. With the left dial, we can adjust the light intensity from 0 to 100% with 1% increments. Pressing it adjusts the power in 20% increments, which is convenient for quick change from low to high power. With the right dial, we can adjust the color temperature, and pressing it changes the temperature for quick adjustment. Holding it activates the music mode using the built-in microphone to sing with sound, although I don't find it very useful except for parties. Pressing both dials activates the 100% max mode, pushing the light to 300 watts. The light output is immediate, and then the fan on the LEDs starts quickly to dissipate heat. After several minutes of use, the cooling fan starts to make noise. In this mode, it can be as loud as a small fan. Not very suitable for video with audio recording, at least not too close to the subject. The situation improves at the standard 100%, where the fan adjusts its speed based on the generated heat. Always be careful when using high power LEDs because of both their brightness and the heat they can generate. Even at 20 cm from the LED, you can feel the intense heat by hand and the metal body of the light can reach high temperatures. That could cause burns if not careful, especially after hours of use. Because it's very bright, in my video production, I used it from 30 to 60%, with a 65 cm softbox, while for photos I used it at 100% power. It can also be very helpful for creating slow motion videos. The included bracket is very sturdy, even with a heavy softbox attached thanks to its aluminium construction. It also has a hole for the umbrella accessories, and a screw for locking rotation up to 90 degrees from both sides. The Bowen's mount is very solid, requiring more force than usual to release once the release button is pressed. This is not a downside, as it provides better control when attaching light modifiers. I particularly liked the design of the cable connecting the controller to the light, as pulling the safety cylinder disconnects it. Unfortunately, the cable cannot be disconnected from the controller, so if it gets damaged, it needs to be replaced by disassembling it. 
Speaking of cables, I would have definitely preferred a longer cable, especially for the one connecting the controller and the light. In the case of mounting on a boom or C-stand, it might be too short. It's only 2 meters long. It is not a real problem as the light also allows for Bluetooth remote control. The app is very intuitive, with a minimalistic look, with few controls similar to the one on the light. Power can be adjusted to tens here, although I find it a bit unnecessary. I test this light in some of my YouTube videos and on set with model, particularly using it as a backdrop light for jewelry videos with a model. It was really useful for slot motion as well, where flashlights are less stable. And even after hours of use at high power, I didn't encounter any problems. Overall, it's an excellent light considering its weight and dimensions. I took it with me in my suitcase during my last photography trip to Italy. It is my favorite one so far. The cost is 360 pounds or 400 euros, which is not cheap, but considering what it offers, it's much less compared to other brands. I definitely recommend it for those who need a versatile light for mixed video and photography use, where noise won't be an issue, and for those who need a highly performing compact LED light. So, those were my thoughts on this light. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. And also, don't forget to hit thumb up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao!